You know, most people that watch my channel are well aware that I carry every day my Chiapa Rhino 20DS. Now, this is a little 357 Magnum six-shot revolver, and I just love it. Been carrying it for quite a while and probably would have continued to carry it for quite a while into the future. But, you know, I was subject to so much crap from so many people about what I chose to carry that I thought I'd make a little video today addressing the topic. Now, the first thing people had a problem with is, why would you want to carry a revolver? Why would you only want six rounds? Well, I'm quite happy with six rounds. I do carry some reloads, but I think six rounds is quite sufficient. I guess I'm not as afraid of being attacked by multiple ninjas at one time as most people are. So, you know, I really don't worry about only having six rounds. Plus, it's a revolver, so I know all six of those rounds are going to fire. In a semi-auto, yeah, you could have 30 rounds in the magazine, doesn't do any good if the gun doesn't fire. So it's hard to argue capacity when you talk about the reliability of a revolver. Now, the other issue people had a problem with is ballistics. They would say, why would you carry a snub nose? Because a 357 Magnum out of a snub nose is as weak as a 9mm, so why not just carry a larger 9mm gun that has greater capacity? Or why not carry a 40 if you want the power? If you want more power, carry a 40 or a 357 SIG. Well, you know, that's not entirely true. A 9mm out of a 4-inch barrel does not really beat a 357 Magnum out of a 2-inch barrel if you use comparable loads. If you go from lowest power to highest power and compare all those up the stairway, there really isn't that much of a difference. 357 Magnum out of a 2-inch barrel often beats the 9mm out of a 4-inch barrel by about 20%, unless you go to 9mm plus P, and if you do that, you've got to go to a higher load 357 Magnum load, like a Lehigh Defense or a Buffalo Bore, etc., and then the 357 Magnum pulls ahead again. If you just look at a middle of the road comparison, the 357 Magnum out of a 2 inch barrel is getting about 1100 feet per second. A 9 millimeter out of a 4 inch barrel of that same comparison, about 135 grain bullet of the same manufacturer, is getting about 1020 feet per second. Now that is a little different if you add the 40 into the mix. The 40 out of the 4 inch barrel is more powerful than the 357 Magnum out of the 2 inch barrel. Out of the 4 inch barrel, the 40 gets up to like 1320 feet per second, so it's actually considerably faster. And the bullet's a little bigger, so you have more energy when you add that extra speed and that extra mass. So the 40 out of a 4-inch barrel is more powerful than the 357 Magnum out of a 2-inch barrel. So people are right if they say, if you went up to the 40 out of a 4-inch barrel, you'd be getting more power. And another argument is how loud the three rounds are. 9mm and 40 are not nearly as loud as 357 Magnum, especially out of a 2-inch barrel 357 Magnum is very loud. Most 9mm and 40, they range in that 156 to 158 decibels when you fire them out of a 4-inch barrel. They're pretty comparable. 40 isn't really that much louder than 9mm. Sometimes the 9mm is actually louder out of the same guns with comparable loads. I don't know why, it just seems to be that's the information I'm finding. And if you go up to 9mm plus P, it's actually a little louder than the 40s on average. The 9mm plus P usually runs around 159 decibels. That's actually a little higher. It's like 1% higher, one, actually 1 decibel higher, because it's not done in percentages. Every time you go up 3 decibels, you pretty much double the sound energy of that item. Whatever the sound is coming out of it, if you go up 3 decibels, that's twice as loud. Like 10 decibels compared to 13 decibels isn't just 30% louder. 13 decibels is twice as loud as 10 decibels. And when you look at the 357 Magnum, which is getting about 168 to 170 decibels out of a 2-inch barrel, that is a lot louder. You're talking about the 357 Magnum being two to three times louder out of the 2-inch barrel than the 9mm or the 40 out of the 4-inch barrel, no matter what loading you choose. And you know, just recently I had a little incident with a 357 Magnum where I damaged my hearing a little bit. I actually ruptured my right eardrum. I realized after I was cleaning it out with a Q-tip the night after that it was covered with blood, so I went to the doctor, I had a ruptured eardrum, and it's taken me quite a while to recover from that. I've never recovered completely, but I'm about 95% recovered from that now. Still have a little ringing, I sleep with a white noise machine, but otherwise I've recovered mostly, but it was not a fun incident. It was horrible for the first few days. Whenever I would talk, it sounded like my voice was distorting. When anything was loud, it would hurt wasn't pleasant. So taking this all into account, the fact that I don't want to shoot 357 Magnum in an enclosed space again if I don't have to, like in my car or in a public space where you're actually indoors, uh, I want to shoot something less loud, like a 9mm or a 40 if I have to shoot something at all, and when I take into account that I actually am giving up some power with the 2-inch snubby and I could have more power out of a 40 out of a 4-inch barrel, I have decided that I'm going to change my carry gun. I'm going to give in, say you guys win, and I'm actually changing my carry gun. I actually changed it a few days ago. I've been carrying something different for a few days now. 
Y'all might remember that just a couple of days ago, I did a video where I refinished my SIG P239 and made it look really nice, gave it a stainless barrel, gave it some new Hogue grips, made this gun look really good. And this is a 40 caliber version of the SIG P239, and it's an awesome gun. But this isn't what I'm carrying. I just wanted to show you it again because I put a lot of work into it. What I have actually switched to carrying is my new Kiapa Rhino 40DS in 40 caliber. Now I'm carrying a four inch barrel with a 40 caliber, so it's more powerful but not quite as loud. And to be honest, it carries pretty much as easily as the two inch model of the gun did. I haven't really noticed much of a difference over the last few days when I've been carrying this. And you know, I've got the same two holsters for this gun as I did for the two inch version. I've got a brown holster directly from Kiapa and I've got a black holster from Winthrop. And since this is the four inch model, it does have the adjustable rear sight. Now this is an older model, so it doesn't have the fiber optic. It's just got a standard rear sight. I'm trying to decide if I want to put the fiber optic one on here. I actually have one I can change it out with, or I can just order another one, I think for like 30 bucks from Kiapa. But right now I'm just carrying it with the blacked out rear sights, just a solid black like target sight and the fiber optic front sight. Now, since this is a 40 caliber, I do have to use moon clips in it. You can actually put the rounds in the gun without moon clips and fire them. It works fine with them in there like that, but you can't eject them. You have to pull them out with your fingernails to get them out. And you know, I have gone on record a lot of times saying I hate moon clips. Well, the main reason I hate moon clips is because I don't know how to use them. Uh, luckily, someone at the range the other day showed me how to use moon clips properly, so now they're not one use for me like they used to be. So I'm actually not as worried about the moon clips now. I don't mind them at all. And plus, it makes for really quick loading having the moon clips. And I can carry more ammo on me than I could with the 337 Magnum because the 40 is a shorter round. So there you have it. You all win. In the end, I'm changing my carry gun. I'm going to a 40 and I'm going to a four inch barrel. So I hope you all are happy. I hope this is what you wanted. But you know, I don't really feel bad about this change. I feel like I'm staying true to what I like. I'm staying true to the revolver and I'm staying true to Harley Quinn. In fact, in the new movie, she carries a six inch rhino. So the way I like to look at it is now I'm one inch closer to being just like Harley Quinn.